Today I'm going to show you how to tape up the back of a frame. We need to tape up frames to ensure that nothing by way of insects, dust, even moisture can get into the artwork from the back of the frame. You can use any tape to do this. I like to use a gummed tape. This is a dry tape that you wet to make it gluey and to stick down, but you could as easily use a self-adhesive tape and do the same job. There are lots of self-adhesive tapes on the market. The gummed tapes are pretty reasonable. And what's really nice about a gummed tape, if you want to remove it, once you've put it down, you can simply re-wet it and the moisture will release the glue and allow you to peel it off. And you can wipe any residue once you've done that. So I'm gonna start off by tearing off a piece of tape. I select tape that is wide enough to cover some of the wood and enough to cover these little um, tabs that secure the bundle into the package, into the frame. And I use a little roller. It has water in the reservoir. And I have found over the years that this is the most effective way of wetting the tape. Generally, I keep this water tank behind me, away from the artwork, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I have it next to me. What I'm doing now is using my little scalpel to just trim that paper so that I can tuck it right in against the wood. You could even use a bone, you can use your fingers, whatever's easiest to ensure that the paper is tucked right up against the wood because you don't want to create any bridges. You want it to be nice and secure with no holes. And I've trimmed along there so that the paper will lie flat and then I just trim off the excess. Now it doesn't really matter how you progress around the, the picture. I'm just going to work side after side and I'm going to peel off a piece of the tape that I need and wet it and repeat the exercise. So this gummed tape is not in of itself conservation tape, but we use it when we're doing conservation framing because everything in conservation framing is reversible or needs to be reversible. And so if I'm going to open up the picture to go back inside to um, make any updates to it or if by any reason you need to get into the frame you can just damp off the brown paper on the back let it rest for a little while and then peel that paper off and then you can get into the frame quite easily so you would never use this brown tape on the artwork itself so even though i've mentioned that i use it in conservation framing I'm using it in the whole process of conservation framing. I'm using it in the last stage where I seal the back of the frame. I quite like to use the scalpel here. I'm trying to ensure that I don't snag the piece of paper underneath. And I often just use my fingers to tuck it in. But one of these book binding folding bones can also really help to tuck it in sure it's tucked right into the corner and give you a lovely flat finish. You don't need to mitre the corners, you can just cut them flat. It's nice to have a, a neat finish. The process really is to ensure you have no holes in any of the corners where any insects or dust or damp can get in. Once you're finished putting on the, the tape, you can add bumpers to the lower corners. Bumpers could be rubber stoppers, they could be felt, they can be cork. You can buy from your local hardware store the little door closers, door softening closers, anything that will sit against the edge of your picture on the lower reaches to ensure that the picture hangs away from the wall. So that's those four finished. 
This is the lower end of the picture. So I can add two bumpers and I use a felt bumper. So I'm going to add a bumper here and here. And this ensures that there's an air circulation around the artwork and so that it doesn't sit against the wall on the edge. It also ensures there's no microclimates happening here, no insects collect and make set up home at this lower edge of the artwork. It has the additional bonus of not marking the wall and helping the picture just sit um, steady on the wall. So the last stage of this would be to add D-rings. So the tools I have used are a bone, a little scalpel, and tape. And the tapes come in various depths, so if your frame is deeper, you could use a slightly deeper uh, tape. So for example, this one here has a much deeper recess, so I need to tuck in much deeper, and I use a wider tape there. I need to ensure that the tape covers these little hooks so that they, the tape doesn't lift and an insect can fly in or crawl in underneath the paper.